What's up guys, Zephyr here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Black 2. In the last episode, we encountered a Fungus. Nope, that's not what happened last episode, but we did encounter some stuff. But this is actually a pretty strong-ass Fungus. And, um, I really want to beat it up so that way Growlithe can get that EXP. So let's go ahead and do this, which I forgot to do off-screen. I really should learn to do more things off screen. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that's not what I mean. That's dirty and it's wrong. But yeah. No. What I do want to do is I want to do this. Turn off this boom here so that way we can move on with this episode. I don't know why AIs always go for like the dumbest moves. Like, let me go for a sweet set. Like, that's gonna do something. I'm afraid if this thing has effects for or something, so I'm kind of weary of keep going for it. Oh, that's cool. He just has Giga Drain. I was about to say, I thought he used any grain, but I guess not. But he just got nutrients back from his roots. So, yeah, that's a dead fungus. So hopefully we get like a good 700 or something. Oh, 400, I guess. I guess that's okay. So let's move on. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is the same. It's crazy scientist who wants to use us. Can you... Are you going to turn? You're not going to turn. You crazy little scientist, dude. And he sent out a deerling. What's with you people and your deerlings? Can you realize that McBall will always be better than a deerling? Every day, every night, every week, every hour, every year, every millennium, every decade, every single time period. And you just got burned. So yeah, that's a fun time, actually. I just wish Growlithe was a lot more faster. And this faint attack will probably kill me. Oh, I guess not. Seeing as it is, I'm stabbed and I really... I don't resist it, but it's neutral, so it's not like it's all that bad. But Growlithe is getting like the littlest EXP from all these battles, and it's kind of making me a little angry because I'm like, okay, well, Growlithe put in work and he doesn't get anything to show for it, so it's like he just did all that for nothing. And I don't want my Pokemon feeling like they didn't do shit. Uh, are you a battler, trainer, type person? Ooh, that's a Moonstone. We're gonna need that. Eventually. I wish you could evolve Zubat with a Moonstone. So yeah, I did that on purpose, so that way she could see us. Because I'm pretty sure the only thing these scientists have in these parts are deerlings, because they want to study the seasons of which... Deerlings evolve in the crap, so you want to do it? That's fine with me. Easy kills all around. But I guess not, because this girl has... She looks like Fennel, too. Professor Fennel. Fennel. And they always use, like, X, like, battle items on their Pokemon, too. I was actually hoping I would get the burn on that, too. But that's fun, too, because he just died. Dead. Oh, uh, there's no Pokemon sensors for, like, miles, so I'm probably going to have to go back and heal up. Because I want to keep using all my potions, especially if we're going into charged stone caves. And oh, we have an elixir! I don't have to, yay. And I knew that had to be a speed tie. Did you just go for a false swipe on me? I remember what that did too. I think I taught it to my Sceptile in uh, Pokemon Emerald. And I kept using false swipe when it had like 1 HP. And I was like, why won't it kill it? Why won't it kill it? And I freak I looked at the move after the battle. And it was like, it leaves the opponent with 1 HP. So I'm like, oh, so that whole time I was all mad because I thought the game was glitching on me or something, but I was the one glitching in my mind. But that's a good move to have if you want to catch a wild Pokemon, as long as you don't, like, force the Pokemon to use all its moves and it starts struggling and then you have to, like, redo it, and if you didn't save, you're even madder. Oh, crap, it's another Fungus. If it's not high level, I'm running. You know what? I'm running anyway because I don't even like Fungus. It's stupid. I'm out. Actually, I'm about to level up, so I'm about to kill you, then I'm out. Fungus. 
one of the slowest Pokemon in the Pokemon region. Um, Unova, I think that's how you say it. Is it Unova? I remember it, uh, in a Japanese version, it's like Isua or Ishu or something like that. It's something with a shoe. I know it starts with an I though, so. It's like Isua. Issue. I'm gonna say issue. Like issue, like I S S U. Why am I even talking about that? I just realized. But I knew it had effect score. So that all that whole time I kept using the boobs, it just didn't give me that effect. But unfortunately this time it did. But it's a good thing I carry awakenings. And if I didn't have awakenings, do I have chest bears? Nope I don't. So I would have been screwed. So where are my awakenings? There we go. Ooh yeah. Is this kid a trainer? Yep. Schoolboy Tommy. School kid Tommy, my bad. And of course, you would have the second Pokemon I hate in the entire world. Fungus. Just imagine Fungus destroying Little Cup, though. Like Spore, uh, Clear Smog. I'm pretty sure there has to be some kind of. Ah, oh, damn it. At least it's paralyzed this time. So hopefully I don't get freaking paralyzed and I'll be able to kill off this stupid fungus that I hate more than anything in the entire world. Actually no. The one thing I hate in the entire world are racists. Racists. Just don't like them. You deliberately just make fun of someone's race, or religion for that matter. You are not my favorite person. I'm watching Pokemon right now too, and if you've ever seen how big a Zatu is in the anime, Zatu is the, as big as Ash. So that should show you how much cooler Zatu may be to some of you, because Zatu used to be like the loser Pokemon in my book. Before I started playing competitively, I was like, oh look, Zatu's actually pretty cool, that's awesome. But uh, I need that Hyper Potion now, so booyah! Aren't you feeling mad? Professor J, or whatever you are, School Kid Tommy. School Kid Tommy thought he can use Fury Attack to kill me, but it did nothing. I wonder if Sincino can get Fury Attack. That'd be pretty cool if he can, but I hate that he's going for like Lynch. It's almost like this car blast was a Jirachi, because he went for head, head butt, I guess, looking for the flinch. And if he didn't, I probably would have gotten paralyzed, so it's almost like he tried to iron head flinch me, except he head butted flinch me. Which is different, but still, it's kind of like the same in my book. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to... Son of a bitch. Deerling, really? I was interrupted because of a stupid deerling? If I'm not about to evolve, you're dead. Okay, you're not dead. Because I'm paralyzed. What do you mean I can't get away? I hate dealings with attitudes. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. No, you bitch! Oh, God. Son of a bitch. Why'd you have to go and kill Growlithe? What did Growlithe do to you? You gay ass faggot. Let me not leave. Let me not leave, and I will kill you. I'm running. Asshole. Uh, where's my revives? Oh. Okay, and now super potion it up. And now pick up this Pokeball. It's Ultra Ball. And I'm not picking up any more Pokeball because I'm pretty sure they're Funguses, and I don't like Fungus. Why do you ask? Because Fungus is like Amoongus, and I hate Amoongus with passion. So I won't. Oh dear lord. Is Cast Form will transform just because it's in water, I wonder? Just in case, I'm gonna get out of there like now. Let's go on to Otter because Otter is awesome. And for Ember, so I would have gotten that Flash Fire boost, but I guess that's okay. Uh, Revenge! We get Revenge. 
And you would go for hail just to make yourself a freaking uh, what's ice type. So yeah, you get to see firsthand cast form transform into a his hail form. And I used to use cast form on like a lot of my weather teams. Like, uh, I don't know why people stop using cast form on their weather teams. Cast form has like even stats, and stats really aren't that bad either. So have it on a sun team, a hail team, or a rain team. It does not Why not? But yeah, I'm gonna go up and go up here. That, that hike has been here since like last game. And there's a dude over there about legendary Pokemon or something, blah 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 blah. So I know I'm good. So now we're in Charge Stone Cave. And look, there's Bianca. What does Bianca want? Oh, wait, I forgot to use that. That's what the yes or no thing was about. They were pills. And it's a Joltik here. So, should we go ahead and kill a little Joltik? Yes. Ooh, Electro. Oh, yeah. Electro Lip always lowers, like, your speed or something, so... I don't know why people don't run that on their Galvantula. It's not that bad of a move if I do say so myself. Like, whenever I make it a set, I think of the most random thing to do if I, if I don't like the Smog on set. Like, I think on my Jolteon, I have Work Up, Thunderbolt, Double Kick, and Shadow Ball on one of my Jolteons. Just because it was that random, and I was figuring, hey, one Double Kick should break sturdy if and so this thing has it, and the second one should kill it. So, yeah. It's fun to run weird sets once in a while instead of the same old, same old. But yeah, Bianca, you're being annoying. I don't care what you have to say. I didn't care last game, and I don't care this game. So whatever she's saying, whatever she's selling, I'm not buying. Oh yeah, other pocket.